The lab that I um, head is the Active Adaptive Control Laboratory in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, so maybe I should start there. So the word control uh, means that you are collecting information about the system and making decisions in order to improve the performance of the system. Um, and information these days is so readily available. Um, in order to make decisions, you have to make computations. Computations are becoming cheap. So the scope of control is therefore increasing tremendously and that is basically what we look at. How do you design control for complex systems? So the second word is that, that we have in our group name is active, which means that you actively create these signals that you want to inject into the system as opposed to being passive. So how do you figure out how the system should be shaped? So that's the reason why we study active control. Um, and the third, and the one that's probably the most dear to my heart is adaptive. So adaptation, means, as the word suggests, that you are changing the way in which you, res you respond um, depending upon what the environment uh, does. And so you adapt yourself to these changes. And so just like biology here too, what we want to do is to design these controls in such a way that we actually adapt to uncertainties that might uh, come up that, you, that are unforeseen. And you do that by using information that is available to you online. So that's really what we do. And so we designed and analyzed these active adaptive controllers for any complex system where control might be uh, needed. Um, and over the years, we have looked at um, propulsion systems, transportation systems, and energy, systems and energy. The two uh, broad areas that we look at are aer aerospace systems and automotive systems. Um, so when it comes to aerospace, it's uh, like plat aerial platforms, you know, flight controllers, uh, flight controllers for high performance uh, systems. Um, these could be either piloted or unmanned. Uh, so if it comes to unmanned, you know, you can imagine things like quad rotors um, uh, th that need, uh, that could be used for a variety of uh, uh, purposes. Another way to look at it is these are, these could be thought of as like aerial robotics. Um, so. Uh, we have these, uh, so the point is that in all these cases, because you want to design these systems with autonomy, you need to endow these uh, platforms with uh, decision making and decision making on the fly. So you want to then incorporate uh, ways in which you take that information and, you, and figure out how to use the information that comes available to you and um, uh, control and maneuver the vehicle. Uh, for instance, um, if you were to have a damage, uh, a failure in some of the actuators, and these actuators in an airplane, as you can imagine, are uh, providing control moments and control forces and therefore are critical to maneuvering the vehicle. So then you need to figure out how, despite the damage, you continue to provide a certain safe maneuver, um, a desirable and a satisfactory maneuver. So that's basically what we design and adapter controllers. And in fact, we, so if you go to our lab website, we have some of the videos that basically show what we've been able to do with these concepts. So we explore these concepts. The two ongoing, extremely successful partnerships in our group is, uh, are with um, Boeing and Ford. And in both cases, the reason why I, success uh, has materialized is because um, we've been able to combine the academic interests of a place like MIT with the business interests of uh, Boeing or Ford. Um, what it does is that it provides an opportunity for us to explore the development of a concept um, in the context of a practical situation that is of interest to the to industry. So if you are able to combine these two, then this partnership becomes extraordinarily successful. And that is what has happened both with Boeing and Ford. I mean, I'll give you an example in the context of Ford. Um, we've had, now we are doing actually, um, we are on our fourth project and in all uh, with Ford and all of the projects, basically the student uh, who's been involved in that has spent 
his or her summers as well as the ILP period at Ford and develops a concept when he or she has been at MIT. And um, that has been just extraordinarily productive and satisfying. And we've c come up with results that, um, you know, they have, the student has won Best Paper Awards. We've been able to, you know, uh, develop in invention disclosures. And, and these all have been uh, things that have been of interest to um, Ford, that they've taken it forward and are exploring it in the context of their own, you know, research group. So that has been a very satisfying process.